The bells toll tonight at St. James for the first time in more than two years. Good evening. I'm Danita Harris. And I'm Chris Flanagan. Hundreds gathered tonight for the parish's first mass since the Cleveland Diocese closed it. News Channel 5's Deborah Lee attended tonight's service. She joins us now live in Lakewood. Deb. Chris and Danita, this mass at St. James began at 7, but you had to get here a lot earlier than that if you had any expectations of getting a seat. Some St. James parishioners listened to the Mass while standing at the door. An overflow crowd filled the church, open for the first time since it was closed with 49 others by Bishop Richard Lennon. I thought once they closed, that would be it, but it's a miracle. The Lord rules. This reopening Mass was held on the Feast of St. James after parishioners successfully appealed the closing to the Vatican. Ashley Newman was baptized here. Now her baby, due next month, can be baptized here too. It's just a really beautiful thing. I mean, this has been a part of my life, you know, since I've been born. So it's really nice to welcome it back and see everybody that came out to support it. Ashley is just one of so many with a rich history here. Marriages, baptisms, all along Detroit Road, there are signs welcoming the St. James family home. Meanwhile, Father Joseph Workman is calling on the family to get back to its faith. We have to get back to our roots. We have to support one another. You know, it's not about this parish or that parish. It's about our Catholic faith. Now, St. James is the sixth church to reopen after that Vatican decree. Others that will soon follow are St. Wendelin, St. Adelbert, St. Mary in Akron, St. Peter, and, of course, St. Emmerich. And the next Mass here at St. James in Lakewood is coming up this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Live in Lakewood, Deborah Lee, News Channel 5.